This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. Hi guys, so the question is, how do you set up your store to take bogus or test payments so you can test out certain things on your store, whether you have a development site that you need to test payments on, or maybe your store is live and you want to test a different type of payment method, um, you know, you want to make sure people don't, you know, buy a bogus amount of things, etc. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's super simple. It's already native in Shopify. Um, and this works on credit card purchases. So FYI on that. Um, but it's already native in Shopify and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super simple. All you have to do is go into your settings. Once you're logged into your Shopify site, it's right down here. I can't actually uh, automatically click on it because my recording software is in the way. But this is what the page looks like. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to go to payment providers. So just click into that. And I already have the gateway activated. I'm going to show you what you have to do. If you have any other payment providers activated, you're going to need to deactivate all those payment providers, whether you have uh, Shopify payments or PayPal, uh, credit card payments, et cetera. You're going to need to deactivate those in order to use the bogus gateway. Uh, so here's the bogus gateway. Uh, and this would apply to your other payment providers. All you have to do is click manage, scroll down and click deactivate. Uh, and then I'll ask you if you're sure about deactivating and just click yes. So you're gonna wanna do that for all your current payment providers. And one, when that is completed, if you go back to your payment providers, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to go to third party providers and you're gonna choose third party provider. And the for testing bogus gateway is going to be the first one on the list. So what you do, you just click that and it's going to give you some instructions of what's going to happen. So pretty much what you're going to do is uh, you can start purchasing a product um, and instead of entering a credit card number, you can, you can either put a one, two or a three. So what a one's going to do, it's going to simulate an approved transaction. What two is going to do, it's going to simulate a decline transaction. And what three is going to do, it's going to simulate a gateway failure. So if, and if you can also uh, check these, you can do different types of currencies as well. So all I'm going to do is click activate, or in my case, reactivate Bogus Gateway. And that's going to say it has been activated. So now what you can do is you can go to your online store. And I have built out a test product. So you can see this in action. So here's my test product right here. Doo -doo. There it is. And we're going to click into this. All right. And I'm going to buy this now. All right. So from here, you're going to go to your payment plans. You can enter uh, whatever you need to enter here. Uh, for the shipping address, I'm just going to do test. Test for all this. Test. Um, the only thing that's going to really ask is for a valid postcode. So I'm going to actually put a UK postcode in there. Uh, so I'm going to go to, oops, I spelled this wrong. There we go. All right, continue shipping. All right, that's fine. Whatever you want to do there, it's not going to affect anything unless you're testing those. And now we're going to go to the credit card purchase. So with this, again, you're going to enter either a one, a two, or a three. I'm going to enter one. I'm going to put my name on the card, expiry date. You can put whatever you want. Just make sure it's, you know, a future date. Um, and the security code can be anything as well. I'm just going to do the same as shipping address so I don't have to enter another billing address. And then you just click pay now. Orders being processed. And there you go. Thank you, test. I have my order is confirmed. And it looks like it was a real order. Uh, and you should be able to see this uh, all in your shipping, etc. Uh, so that is how you test bogus payments. As you can see, if you go to your orders, here is my test product right here. Authorized and unfulfilled. So all you have to do is make sure to go back into your settings once you're done testing uh, your gateway. 
when testing all your products, make sure you go back into your settings, deactivate the bogus gateway, and reactivate any payment providers you had up uh, before you activated the bogus gateway. I hope that helps. Have a great day. For watching. If this was helpful, please subscribe. And if you need extra help, visit askquesty.com and send us your questions.